This first week of Advent, we reflect on hope. Biblical hope isn't best wishes, good vibes, happy thoughts, or the general wishful optimism that we often associate with the word hope. In the Old Testament, there are two words for hope. Yachal, which means to wait, to be patient. And kava, which also means to wait for, or wait upon, and it draws upon the root that means to bind together. Far from a wish or an idea, biblical hope is rooted in the patient expectation of a person, the God who is coming to save. The people of Israel understood their hope to be completely bound together inside a relationship with God. They knew that trying to move on into a future without him was as impossible as trying to run a three-legged race with only one runner. Their hope was bound to him, so when things looked dark, they waited. They waited for him to come. In Psalm 130, verses 4 to 8, we read, If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchmen for the morning. More than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is plentiful redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. And so as we reflect on this long waiting for coming Messiah, we can see the prophet slowly unwrapping the gift that God is bringing to save his people. Out of the stump of David's family will grow a shoot. Yes, a new branch bearing fruit from the old root, and the Spirit of the Lord will rest on him. But you, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, are only a small village among all the people of Judah, yet a ruler of Israel, whose origins are in the distant past, will come from you on my behalf. For the time is coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous descendant from David, King David's line. He will be a king who rules with wisdom. He will do what is just and right throughout the land. And this will be his name. The Lord is our righteousness. Jeremiah 23, 5, 6. The virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Isaiah 7, 14. And so in Advent, we wait with hope, remembering the long wait of Israel for the Messiah who came as a tiny baby. And the church, his bride, we wait patiently for the same Lord who will soon come again to make all things new. He's coming. Wait for him.